We'll get started in the seat this morning. If you have uh, you have access to a blanket, you might want to place one um, beneath your seat. If not, then just go ahead and we'll start ourselves off in Sukhasana position. So Sukhasana is a seated position with your, actually your shin bones are gonna be crisscrossed. Try to have your feet flexed. And um, we'll go ahead and start with your right shin in front of your left shin this morning. And as you nestle yourself down, go ahead and just we'll find that foot flexion, the knife edges of your outer feet are grounding down again. Welcome, my name is Christy Curtis and I am so excited to share this practice with everyone here this morning. So on behalf of Renaissance and myself, thank you for, for being a part, being a part of this. And again, we'll get started in the Sukhasana position. So drawing your shoulders back, Sitting bones, palms down and towards the earth, and just feel your shoulders draw their alignment on top of the hip bones. Your hands can be placed either palms down or palms up or towards the sky, yet allowing a soft, gentle bend in towards your elbows. It's okay to close your eyes. Please close your eyes. Otherwise, just take your gaze down at something soft that's not moving. And using this time to just orient yourself into your body. Bring your direct attention to your body and noticing, noticing what you're waking up to with your body. There's a sense of any lingering aches and pains, any sense of spaciousness or heaviness. Perhaps noticing the body feels tired from the maybe lack of sleep or maybe energized from the amount of sleep. And bringing your attention from the body into your state of energy. Noticing if your energetic levels right now are kind of just cruising on autopilot. Maybe it's sort of idling and neutral. Perhaps they're just still in low gear, just getting the morning started, maybe with or without the coffee yet. Perhaps there's a bubbly, excited energy to have yoga again into your practice and your day. And then bringing your attention now towards your mind. Any thoughts that may be present and alive. There's planning. Any expectation of yourself for the day, for this class, for me. Any worries left over. Just bring your attention to what's alive and present in your mind. We're not judging or trying to push anything away, just being connected with what's here right now. Noticing as the thoughts travel, if you're breathing, Keeping this attention filtered directly on the sensation of your breath. Can you pinpoint it into the belly? The belly is a water balloon getting filled with the capacity of your air. Just to soft and fill on the breath in. And a gentle releasing as the abdomen draws in and up on the exhale. Again, an inhalation as the belly softly expands outward. And exhale, drawing the navel up and in. And complete this for a few more rounds at your rhythm, at your pace.
And each time the mind starts to get a little bit jumpy or rowdy, just perhaps smile and say, oh, do it again. Just come back to this belly, this body being breathed. With each and every breath, it's a greater connection to help soothe out your nervous system. This nervous system right now, that for all of us, especially in this time, is pretty fragile. And so using the quality and attention, of just this kind ability to breathe in one breath and out one breath for yourself to help stay in your alignment, stay in your center, Perhaps for this moment, maybe it's the start of your day. But collectively, let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And an audible exhale sigh, and that stale air go. Again, a deep, full inhale. And an audible exhale, letting the breath completely go. And this last time, full breath in all the way from the base of the spine, all the way up to the brink of the collarbones, pause and hold. Maybe even another little sip of breath in, noticing the posture, hold it. And a deep exhale, longer sigh, let everything completely go. Nicely done as you're ready. Just go ahead and drop your chin downward towards your chest. Bring your palms together in front of your heart and just using this connection of the palms together to draw an attention for what it is that this practice can bring for you today. Just have it maybe be a word, thought, whatever it might be, just to help guide you a little bit greater. When you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. And you lift your gaze. Wonderful, friends. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves started. So we've been sitting in this position for a little bit. We're going to uncross the legs and go into the opposite shin bone, crisscross. So keeping the feet flexed, this time take your hands and take it behind the flesh of the buttocks and slide the buttocks flush just gently back, keeping your spine up nice and tall. And from here, just go ahead and take your hands on top of your knees. Again, we'll draw a soft bend in towards the elbows. On your inhale, release your fingertips down towards the earth in a nice slow extension. Arms are going to lift on the way up. Feel the lift of your low back, reaching, teaching the arms a lift tighter, soften the front ribs. Exhale, bend your elbows nice and wide. You're taking your right arm, sliding it beneath the left. For some, we're just going to start with a hug, which is a great thing to always send your day with. If, if this is enough, stay. Otherwise, take your eagle wrap. Where your forearms cross, your wrists fall. She's getting it to where you can be. Root down into your sitting bones and start to bring the forearms a little bit forward. So we're going to kind of concave the chest, draw the front sternum in. And now lift the elbows up and start to lift up through the collarbones, widen the collarbones wide through the inner shoulder blades softly downward. Good. Just pressing deeper through the palms. And it'll be a slow release. Elbows out, palms up. Exhale. Take a rotation towards the right side. Release the right hand down, left hand outside the side knee. Inhale, lengthen, find length of the spine. And it's just a gentle exhale, draw the front navel in and out as you revolve the waist, the ribs, the chest, the shoulders, then the neck, and then the head. Again, rooting down to the sitting bones, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, just a gentle tone. And inhale, bring your chin back towards center. And then exhale, unravel. We're going to go ahead and extend the legs out. Maybe just give the legs a little windshield wipe with the feet. And we'll just go one more time to the second side. Opposite crisscross. Finding the sit, nestling down the sitting bones, shoulders draw back. Good. on your inhale, reach the fingertips on down. Arms are going to lift, lengthen on. Good, exhale, elbows be nice and wide. So feel that as you can extend your elbows out further from the sides of your lap, so kind of like back knees. On your next exhale, it's going to take the left arm beneath. So again, if you have this, we'll start off with a hug again here. It's going to bring your fingertips to the inner shoulder blades. Otherwise, the elbows will lift and your forearms will cross. Again, for a lot of us, we've had some screen time, probably more than we 
actually like to have in our everyday normal. So it's just help releasing some of the tension that's accumulated in the shoulders. Okay, let's go ahead and take a slow release of those elbows, chest wide, the arms long. Good, rotate from the side, the center of the navel, the rib cage, then the shoulders, chest, as you release the right hand outside the left knee. Just doing what it is that you can today. Again, sitting bones, prong, inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, soft and gentle press. And that's the beauty of the practice. You just listen to your body, the cues it gives and offers. On your next inhale, bring the chin back towards center and exhale, unravel. We're gonna go ahead and come on into our hands and knees, tabletop pose. And so again, if you have sensitive knees, let's go ahead and take a blanket knee if you can double roll your mat. But again, as I just mentioned, if you need to make any modifications, please do take care of your body. I'll be showing you the levels and layers and just choosing what feels appropriate for you in that moment. Finding your fingers spread nice and wide like starfish on rocks and feel the tops of your shin bones and toenails put downward towards the earth. See that your middle fingers point toward the upper corners of the mat and shift the weight slightly forward. As you do, can you lift up just your pinkies and you'll feel the weight shift into the thumb, index finger, middle, and ring. Press down and toward the thumb and the index finger and then lightly land and move down. That's where the energy really wants to stay focused and take pressure on your wrist. Keep that sensation if you don't on your chin around the top of your skull, draw it in towards your cow pose, rather your cat pose. Inhale, opening up and towards your so Take a few more of these gentle rounds. Just using your breath to guide the movement versus forcing the movement into the breath. It's kind of nice when you can practice at home, you can get a little bit creative, less self-conscious, just maybe some hip rolls and just kind of noticing what the body might need. But then from here, where we're gonna head, we're just gonna go ahead and take the knees a little bit wider, toes together, find your extended child's pose. If this is enough, great, stay here, otherwise you can take a block at the buttocks as you get back to the heels. Climbing arms nice and long, forehead rest of the earth. Today, flex the palms like you're making two stop signs. Climb each wrist crease further forward. Fan out the fingers, then plant the hands down. Find your cupcake fingers, the tops of your palms, wrap your outer triceps down so you can expand the collarbones. Just keeping that spacious between the inner shoulder blades. Take a deep in breath and fill in each side line of the ribs. Then use your exhale to draw the navel, belly button up and in, spreading this back kidney rib, this back band of the adrenals. Good. One more inhale, fill up the sides of the ribs. Nice. And exhale, draw the navel up and in. Good. Grounding down through the palms. Come on in towards your tabletop pose. From here, we'll go ahead and take your energy to the left shin bone, extend your right toes back. Pull up the navel, spin your right inner thigh top to the sky. Keep the collarbones wide and elevate your right heel leg. This is too much. You can stay here or leave the toe down, but feel the energy lift the leg from this part of the buttocks and the hamstring. That's where the work comes in addition to the abdomen. Option one, stay here. Keep your outer left hip hugging in. Exhale, knee in towards your nose, dome and round. Maybe some of you will get a little bit closer. Inhale, take length. Keep that outer left hip up again. Exhale, knee in towards your nose. Again, inhale, heel extends. Exhale, knee in towards nose. Inhale, we take length. Pause here. Some of you will stay for stability and focus. Others will pop up onto the left fingertips. Holding here, notice the weight distribution to left shin, right hand. Keep your outer right leg in, and then maybe you'll extend out your left arm or we fold for three. Can you get long in each sideline of waist? Keep the navel abdominal wall in for two. Good. And on one, release the left hand, release the right knee. Bonus, there's one more sign. So here we go, second round. Let's go ahead and find here. So find the stability line, extend the left toes back. 
And you'll really find that ball down and foot. And I don't know about you, but when I do this, my right hip kind of gets a little bit of an attitude and dump into that joint. Hug your outer right hip in, and it helps by spinning your left inner thigh top up, or the inner thigh seam up. So pause layer one, stay here. Two, maybe lift up the heel leg. Again, it's that strong, meaty area of the hamstring. Um, my Pilates teacher calls it the thigh, the butt thigh connection. So kind of find that area to do the work and lift up that. Good so option layer, stay here. Two, exhale, knee to nose. Don't use the core strength. Inhale, take length long. Exhale, draw the knee navel. Good inhale, strong energy out the heel. Last one. Exhale, using your breath as that energetic line. Good inhale for the stability, the static, the hold. Two option, fingertips pop on the right hand. Layering three, perhaps you extend out the right arm. Your bicep is a speaker to your right ear. Keep reaching through the left heel, abdominal wall strong. Are you breathing? Holding here, maybe bringing that right bicep close to the ear if you can there, Shane. Good, one more breath, yes. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Child's pose, rest, please. Take a breath in. And roll out your wrists, maybe roll your forehead. And then as you're ready, we'll go ahead and come back up to our hands and knees. I promise friends will be off this soon. Taking your toes tucked under. And then come here, just pause for a moment, activating those quads. We just did some work in the hamstrings. So if you could slide one sheet of paper beneath the knees. You're pressing the earth away. The knees are covering. The collarbones extend. There's one more breath. Good. Slowly, like a catapult, lifting up the pelvis. Nice and slow. Lift, lift, lift. Downward facing dog. So look like an inverted V for some of us, for most of us, with bends in your knees. And just slowly dropping one heel down towards the earth as you bend the opposite knee. And again, just listening to what the body needs here. Fast walk, slow walk. Let's see if you can gaze down towards your toes. And then wherever you are, you'll take a deeper bend in towards your knees. Keep pressing the floor away. Lift up the abdominal wall. From here, feel your triceps wrap downward. Lift up more into the pelvis. Your quadriceps press back. Can you lift higher onto your tippy toes? Exhale, double drop both heels towards your right side. Lift up the crease of the left hip pelvis. Keep rolling your outer triceps down as you bring your shoulders. Those will spread apart. Inhale, feel your collarbones widen. Inhale, high to tippy toes. Exhale, double dip your heels towards your left side. Lifting up from that right outer hip crease. Grounding through all four corners of the feet, just the best that you can to feel the sensation of the outer IT band, inner thigh work. Inhale, come on back. Good, just release your heels closer towards the floor. Slowly tiptoe back onto your fingertips. All the way back to meet your feet. Good, you'll have a deep bend into your knees. Inhale, extend your heart and chest forward. And exhale, let's fold it on down. Take your hands towards your ragdoll, hands to elbows. Perhaps releasing even greater where the chin is a little bit more towards the throat, chest. And imagine here you can even maybe pull the elbows a little bit apart. Switching out the grip of the elbows, maybe a sway side to side. Shaking your head, yes. Maybe little shakes and rolls, no. And then releasing your fingertips back down towards the earth. Inhale, lifting on up halfway. Can you keep that like no one bends your knees? The pelvis shifts back, long, elongated, strong abdominal wall. And your next exhale, we're going to walk back down into a downward facing dog. It's a little bit of dynamic movement here for the morning energy and heat. Your inhale, you're going to lower yourself down. Again, crouching down just as low as you can. For some, your knees will hover an inch off the floor. Pressing in towards your palm, you're just going to slightly come forward towards your plank pose. Again, inhale. You can always stay in your down dog if this is too much. Buttocks towards heels. Pressing in towards your palms. 
and then using the slow energy to bring the momentum forward to your high plank, lifting up the quadriceps. Last time, inhale, buttocks hovers over heels, and then slowly bringing yourself forward, finding your plank pose. Shoulders over wrists, heel energy presses back. You can always drop down to your knees. We'll be there in a moment. Otherwise, we're practicing pressing the earth away, collarbones wide, another breath. And then slowly dropping down towards your knees. Bring the hip bones of the pelvis upright as you slowly bend the elbows back nice and slow, holding at that 90 degree angle, hold it. Can you lift an inch? Maybe lower an inch. Lift one inch. Lower one inch. Lift one inch. Lower one inch, hold it. And release all the way down towards the floor. Release the top of the feet. Good from here, take the arms back, palms down, forehead towards the floor. With your palms pressed down, lift up your right foot. And then as you lift it up, spin the right leg, inseam up towards the ceiling, and then lightly plant the right toes down. Inhale, lifting up the left leg, spin the inseam up, and then place the left foot down. Palms are grounded. Imagine how the cape, like superhuman, flying through the sky. The palms press down, forehead down, lift up the low belly. Good from here. So palms press, pubic bone drops. Inhale and variation, Shalomasana. So again, the fingertips are climbing back. The collarbones are wide. The feet are strong and heavy, like sandbags around top of the ankles. One more breath. Nice. Exhale, we slowly lower. Good from here, taking your elbows nice and wide, fingertips off the grid. So we're off the mat, back to the fingertips, strengthening the wrist bones. Inner elbows back, heavy feet, inhale, pressing down, opening up the heart and the chest. Nice, exhale, we fold. Two more like this, inhale, fingertips ground, open up the heart and chest. Exhale, we lower. Again, inhale, leading up with the sternum. The pubic bone heavy, the pubis is down, lifting, opening, lengthening. So good, you guys. Exhale, lower and arm down. Final round here is the cobra. Thumbs come in, inner elbows. So again, the feet are heavy, lifting up through the navel. The forehead is down towards the ground to begin. The low belly lifts. Elbows like they're, they're rubber band, they're bungee corded. Inhale, baby cobra, hold. Again, elbows or back, palms around as if you're slithering yourself forward. Many of us are going to stay here. Those that are ready are going to find their upward facing dog. So you decide where you are saying yes, Karen, nice. Opening up those collarbones, shoulders back. And then from wherever you are, during your upward dog, your knees and thighs are off the floor. And then we're going to come on up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in the nose. Good job, you guys. In the audible exhale side. Good morning. Good morning, 6.30. All right, let's go to bend into the knees, gauge up towards the fingertips. This time is tippy toe. Tippy toe your way all the way on up to the top of your mat. Then your next inhale, knees are bent. Open up the heart and the chest. And exhale, we fold it down a little bit deeper. As you press down in towards your feet, slowly and gently, just start to unravel yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Just nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Just feel the articulation of your spine as you stack, rolling your shoulders back. Good palms, they're open. And your feet will be in parallel position or even closer together, like what distance apart you decide. Bring your palms back to the center of your chest, relaxing your jaw. I'm going to invite you to focus from practice here on out. Just obviously try to keep your practice focused on breath, but find the very tip of your tongue and see if you can press it up against the back loop of your mouth and where the top back teeth connect. It helps to loosen up some of the tension of the jaw. It also helps to activate ujjayi breath. So it's just like a little, it's also a, a pressure point, kind of like a marma point really in Chinese medicine. So you'll just take out a little bit of like your own acupressure there. And then you'll just kind of create that soft, if that's something you might want to explore, just to kind of help release any tension that's accumulated. 
I know my body's a commute a lot of the last six weeks. I don't know about you, but palms together at your heart. One more deep breath in. And that exhale with the tip of the tongue pressing against the roof of the mouth. Good, releasing your fingertips. Inhale, arms are reached all the way up. Exhale, nice and wide if you have the space. One, dive your way down. Inhale, halfway lift, keep the extension. And exhale, just take the fold down. Feel the sitting bones lift the crown of the shoulder. Press down deeper to the feet. Inhale, use the energy, lift yourself up, 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 greeting your morning. Exhale, thumbs, heart, sternum, stay lifted to the chest. Again, inhale, arms reach and up. Exhale, folding the waistline, waterfall it over the pelvis. The teeth. Inhale, halfway lift, inner thighs, spin back. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, or feel free to use your block. Step your right leg back. Feel your outer left hip shape itself back as you press into the inline, the big toe ball mount of the left foot. Keeping the collarbones nice and wide. Good. Pause here. Option one, layer stay. Option two, we drop down towards the back. Actually, I'm going to have one drop down to the back feet in this side. Release the back foot, hands towards your left thigh bone. And just kind of drop and sink a little bit more into your pelvis. Press down into the left inner sole of the foot and glide your outer left hip crease back. Hip points are lifting, tailbone dropping, arms reach forward. Palms face down, left thumb beneath right thumb. Try to pull the thumbs apart. Feel how the shoulder blades kind of wrap themselves down. Inhale, arms are going to lift. Keep reaching, lifting, lengthening here. Now here's our layers. One, we stay. Two, you hinge yourself forward. You can stay here on layer two. Otherwise, layer three, we lift up the back knee. Keep reaching back to the back heel, abdominal wall strong wherever you are. So good, you guys. One more breath. Keep lengthening here. Energy through your left heel. Exhale, hands down towards the floor. Step back into your plank. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, we come into the high plank pose. Exhale, feel free to drop to your knees. Lowering yourself down towards the earth. Cobra or the up dog, decide what you need today. Each one can be a little bit different. They never have to look the same. And then as you're ready, we'll meet down into our downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg will lift. Be reaching back the center of the right heel. Exhale, knee kisses and towards the nose. Releasing your right foot. Can you leave your left hand towards the earth? Inhale, reaching your right arm towards the sky. If we're on our fingertips, use a block here. And again, make it as tall as you need to bring the floor to you. Expand and reach. Good, so good, you guys. Keep those shoulder blades nice and wide. But you think about lifting towards the sky versus further behind you. Yes, one more breath. So well done, everybody. Great job releasing your right hand. Inhale, and the collarbones remain wide. Have your outer right hip in. And like you're going through slow motion, weight to the right foot, slowly you drive your left foot in to the forward fold down. Good, pressing in towards your feet. Inhale, arms reach, rise, lift all the way up. Exhale, sama, stay to me. Round two, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Using your breath, inhale, cascade the chest forward. On your next exhale, we step the left foot back. Same action, feel the inline of the right big toe ball now, pressing down to drive the outer right thigh back. Good to stay here, create that collective energy as you press the right heel, and then release the left knee shin bow down. Take your hands towards your right thigh, and take a moment just to kind of play and sink into it. And we do a lot of dumping, okay? So we're gonna counteract that effect just by noticing what happens. When we press into the right heel center, arms extend, turn the palms down, take the right thumb beneath the left thumb and pull those apart. Press down to your right heel, and as you do, feel the tailbone heavy, the front hip hole start to rise on up. 
Good job, you guys. From here, just start to lift up a little bit more. So we're using rounding. The shoulder blades are wrapping. The navel is drawing itself up and in. So good. One more breath. Here's our layering effect. Exhale, we hinge forward. This is the place to stay. Knee stays on ankle. Otherwise, we got strength, stability, and balance. Lifting up the back knee. Keep the sidelines of the waist long. Holding here for one more breath. So well done. Exhale, hands towards the earth. Good. Stepping your right foot back. Pause into your plank. We're pressing your foot. Downward facing dog. Inhale, come on forward to the plank. Exhale, feet back leg. Stay after Chata Ranga down the side. What you need? Maybe drop the knees. Inhale, cobra or the up dog. Well, are you breathing there? Yes, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting up the left leg, coming inner side, thigh, see, standing. Exhale, knee in towards the nose, and the light landing down. Again, utilize the block or prop or book for what you need. Right hand to the earth. Inhale, open up. So again, you'll feel your left side leg drawing itself back. Power to the top of the right thigh bone. We're spreading across the shoulder blades, opening up the chest. One more breath. Releasing left hand. Inhale, extend your chest. And exhale, slow motion, bringing right foot to meet the left forward fold. On this one, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, take the fold down. Take your, bend your knees. And take your forearms and see if you can bring them back behind the shins. For some of us, you might need to bring your feet a little bit closer together. But just drop the head. Good. Release your fingertips. Keep your feet wide. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down again. Release your hands to your lower back. Take an interlace, lifting up the knuckles. Maybe just leaving your hand to your low back. This is too much. Feel free to just grab a towel. You can use your shirt or just maybe feel your hands on the back of your sacrum. Switching out the grip if you have it. It's a nice thing about the practice. We can make it pretty adaptable for where we are. As long as we let go of the notion that we have to do it a certain way. So listening to your body, inhale, halfway lift. Pause point here, hands towards your hip bones, slowly and gently start to lift yourself all the way on up. Good. So we're gonna come right into a balance before we start to move into the standing series. So feet will be parallel. On your inhale, arms will reach up towards the sky. On the exhale, start to, um, we're actually gonna all shift that. Let's take your hands to your hips. You're gonna draw the weight back of your heels and sit yourself down like you're seated in towards a chair. Hip bones are going to lift, shin bones drawing back. Pressing your efforts in towards the left foot, bring your right leg up just an inch. You keep that outer left hip in as you lift your right knee. And take your right ankle on top of your left thigh quad. From here, can you slowly start to lower yourself down? Hands towards your heart, center layer one. Flexion through the right heel. Layer two, arms extend, biceps by ears, front legs in. Layer three, chest extend as you drop a little bit further down. Keep hugging your outer left hip back. Fingertips reach, one more breath in. Noticing where you are with your breath. Slowly lifting up the chest, keep the figure four. Good, can you come right back to that chair pose? Just one more breath. Good, press into the feet, releasing the arm bones all the way down. Focus, one more side. Here we go, next round, hands to your hip bones. So again, finding that weight distribution through the feet and then releasing the weight towards the heels. Front pelvis lifts, tailbone heavy, hover the left foot in inch. Just notice where the weight is being distributed through the right foot. Keep the action of the foot flex, lifting up the knee. Rotating me from the inner thigh, seam left ankle on right quadricep. Hugging your outer right hip in, slowly lowering yourself down and towards your chair sit. 
Good, so layer one, here we stay. Two, palms perhaps forward center heart. Three, maybe we take that sense of extension as we reach forward, maybe hinging the chest down without force. Mm, just waking up this outer side. You might notice one side of the body a little bit tighter than the other. So, oh, that's interesting. Just noticing here, reaching back. Wherever you are, nice and slow. We're gonna come right back in towards the chair pose. We're here for three. Holding two. Nicely done on one. Press down and rise. So just notice the imprint of the energy left on the body, the feet, the heartbeat perhaps. Maybe some little beads of sweat showing. Here we go. Inhale, find that chair pose. You can toss them up. Exhale, forward fold. Take it down. Inhale, halfway lift, extend your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, step it back one foot at a time, high plank pose. You can always drop to your knees or stay here in the plank, chatter on the left. Inhale, cobra or the up dog. Come back into the high plank, downward facing dog. Lifting up your right leg from the inner thigh and same extend and reach. On the exhale, take your knee and towards your right side elbow, maybe a little tap, like you could hold one sheet of paper between. Inhale, extend your right leg and feel that. You can always stay in plank or drop to your child's pose. Exhale, right knee towards the left elbow. So a little bit of a weak twist, keep pressing the earth away. Inhale, right leg extends. And then the exhale, knee back into the nose, just warming up the abdominal wall, core straight. And release the right foot down. So bring your back heel down, hug your outer right hip in, and extend the left arm forward. Press with the inseam of that inner back leg, thigh, right arm, reach those biceps or speakers. Inhale, lifting on up in the heart and chest, warrior one. Tailbone descending, front hip points lifting. You're releasing the inner thigh of the back leg. One more breath. Your exhale, hands come through heart center. Let's open it on up into the warrior two pose. Arms are nice and extended. So keep fingertip to fingertip line of energy. We release this upper inner groin. Imagine spinning that back. Press down the center of the right heel. Get a little bit of spaciousness into that front hip bone. Well done, everyone. From here to the breath, inhale, arms reach, straighten up the front leg, pressing the ball down the foot. Good, exhale, take that extension into the release. Good, two more, inhale, arms reach, lifting up the sidelines of the wrist. Exhale, take the extension, just noticing where the thought pattern is right now for yourself, come back to your breath. Inhale, arms of your reach. I promise the emails will still be there, the gardening will still be there, the breakfast will still be there to take care of your knees. Good, nice and slow. Your next inhale, reaching the arm forward. And then take your forearm towards your top thigh, pressing down, lifting up through your left arm. And just take a moment here, draw the front ribs in. Let's take the knife at knife edge of the left pinky finger facing the earth as you extend the arm long overhead, extended side angle. Layer one, you stay here. Layer two, you can use your block and take it towards the outside of the ankle bone foot. So there's little to no weight in that actual right block. It's just, it's just a support system. We're bringing the floor to you. Stay active and more interested in the energy focus of that back leg. So well done, you guys. Get a little bit lighter on that base block. Coming back in towards the void or two pause. Focusing your gaze with the front middle finger, front ribs in, top palm up towards the sky. Inhale, take a reverse, lifting up out of sideways, press down to the center of the right heel, breathe. Nice, on the exhale, wiggle yourself down, find your way towards your plank pose and pause. Layer one, you stay here. Layer two, you'll go ahead and you'll drop on over towards the side of your outer edge, the left foot. 
Many of us are gonna drop down to that left knee. Wonderful, support yourself. We're opening up into the side plank pose. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my bottom leg with that same action we had in the twist. Right frontal hip reaching forward, tailbone long, just one more breath. Some of you will lift up that right leg. Good, coming back into your high plank. Staying here, otherwise take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg will lift. Exhale, left knee towards your left tricep. Pause here like you're holding one sheet of paper. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, left knee towards your right tri side tricep. Just that gentle little twist. Inhale, left leg Exhale, knee in towards the nose. Dome and pound back, lifting. Hold, if you're holding the breath, just notice it. Keep a fluid breath. And then lower the back heel. I catch myself doing that actually quite a bit. So it's, you know, we're normal. It's just like our habits and the practice helps us just bring attention to what we do normally without the sub the subconsciously. Let's drop the back heel down. Left thumb, index finger to that hip hook. Hug it back. And extending the right line of the arm forward, lifting up to the back inner thigh, left arm extends. Good, keeping that inhale, we find your Vajrasana one. Chest plate expands, tailbone heavy. Good, exhale, palms through heart center, we open up and towards the warrior two. So again, be more interested in the energy being released, this inseam of the back thigh. Outer left hip hugging itself in. Good, inhale, arms extend, leg lifts up. Exhale, we lower. Strong back leg, strong ball on front foot. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. Using your breath, lengthen, create more space. Deconstruct, exhale. Good, stay nice and low here, reaching the side body long, left forearm towards the thigh. Again, keeping your right arm up towards the sky. Feel your outer left hip shave back, outer pinky wraps forward as we take the length. Front ribs draw in, you're wrapping your right side waistline up as that left side gets long. Feel free to use your block. Hand down towards the block, could you guys keep that extension? Get lighter on that base block if you have it. Pressing to the back heel to help support. Come back into the warrior to settle in. Strong foundational legs, but lightness or energy is traveling from the spine base all the way up. Top palm releases. Inhale, reverse. Open up the space. Breathe between the bash of tissue for air costals. On the next exhale, wiggle yourself on down. High point, pause point. So stay here into your high plank. Otherwise, wherever kind of is into the side plank series. You can stay here. You can always drop that knee for the base. Otherwise, we're going to take the double drop towards the heels. Pressing down to the right arm. So that right inner body forward as we start to take the lift. And so from here, you're going to feel your inner thighs spin back. Draw your outer left toe towards your face. Left hip bone wrapping forward. One more breath. So strong, you guys. Yes. Keeping your chin towards your chest. Crown of head forward. Good. And we take the release. High plank. Rinsing it out. Chantum. Inhale. Lift up the heart. Exhale. Downward facing dog. From your down dog, we're going to go ahead and just walk your hands on back towards your toes. Good. Peace fingers come towards your big toe, first toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Padangustasana, elbows bend out the sides. Everyone bend your knees, and as if the rib cage could float and land on top of the thigh bones, let the rib cage grip. The head is heavy, the pelvis is lifted. And imagine as if the, you could lift, you could peel the big toes up and off the floor, but the big toes are kind of playing their own game of tug of war. They don't want to leave. The big toes are pressing down, collarbones widening.
Good, inhale, extend the chest. And then from here, the chest is extended. Release the big toe from the, uh, the fingertips of the big toe and slide both your hands beneath. This is Pada Hastasana, hands to feet. Inhale, extend chest. And then exhale, take a bend of the elbows, drop the head. I was telling my sister-in-law last night, it's the first time I've actually seen the real colors of my toenails in a long time. No pedicures in a long time, so this is the, so I hope everyone can kind of let their toes and feet breathe in this time of, this time of kind of just going inward, you know, this time we're presented with. So giving yourself, especially this practice, that space and time to breathe. Good, inhale, extend your chest. Good, your exhale, release your hands. Let's walk it back on out the downward face. Good, on your next inhale, reaching your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, take your knee in towards your nose. And then release your foot down. Let's drop back down into the back knee, shin bone. On your inhale, rise on up in towards your low lunge here. Nicely done. From here, we're just going to go ahead and press down that back shin bone. Lift up the heart and chest. And your exhale, take a bend of the elbows. And as the elbows bend, similar to where we were in our um, eagle, just release your hands down, interlace the fingers. Knuckles draw back towards the low back. Open up the heart and chest. Chin in, lifting up the frontal plane of the body. Another breath. From the exhale, hinge the chest forward. Good, from here, you can start to wrap your outer left side waistline forward. Good, release your left hand down. Right arm is gonna go on up towards the sky. Good, from here, we were here earlier, but this time we're just gonna reach the leg, the arm back. Maybe bringing a hold of your outer leg to the back foot. Maybe the elbow will bend again. Feel free to use the block here, just opening up that quadricep. Good breathing in, hooking your outer right hip back. One more breath. And then slowly, without it becoming a rubber band, release the back foot. Good, releasing your hand down. And then just sliding your hip crease on top. Flexing through your foot here. And again, if you have your books or your blocks, use them to bring the floor to you for it to help get some more space. Sting up the frontal right hip bone. Now take another bend forward. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, we're going to slide it back. This time it's going to be the option to stay here. Otherwise, for some, you're going to start to lift up and cover the right heel. We're here for three. We're here for two. Good, and one. Slowly take that release down. Good, planting your fingertips, lift up the back knee, and then bring the back foot in a few inches and drop the heel down. Return to find your finger pads, coming to our pyramid pose. Inner thigh seams roll towards each other. You're bringing your outer right hip back, press into actively the back foot, and bring both your hands towards your hip bones. Good, the chest plate's nice and long. We're trying to get long in this left side waistline. Outer right hip shaves back, inner thigh seams draw back. So well done. One more breath here, some of us will stay. Otherwise, hands towards heart center. Maybe some will extend the arms forward. One more breath. Good, inhale, arms will lift on up towards the sky. Taking your right hand towards your right hip, lifts on up. Exhale, chest is going to hinge forward another inch or two. Find your length parallel to the floor. And as you're ready, you're going to rotate. Again, inner thigh seems rolled towards the center, wrapping that outer left rib cage, wrapping, wrapping, and then releasing your hand either inside to the right foot to the block or towards the outside. Taking your right hand towards your sacrum. So the outer right leg draw back as you press on the inside of the right foot. Keep your left side waistline side long as you revolve from the navel, rib cage, chest. Maybe that top arm reaches up towards the sky. Good job, you guys. You're keeping your gaze down towards your right toes or perhaps looking up towards the sky. There's another breath. 
Good, releasing your right hand down. Inhale, extend the chest. Soften towards the knee. Just start to lift up the back leg, standing split pose. Relax the head. Good, not here for long. Bend in towards the right knee. Inhale, extend the chest. Good, feel free to use your block. Come to that standing L shape. Maybe your hands come to the center of your heart. We're here for three. Holding two. Good on one. Slowly bring the left foot down. Chair pose. One breath in. Good. Exhale. Fingertips down. Then straighten the legs and hold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Bend your knees. Hands plant. Stepping on back to the high plank. The option here, again, feel free to stay and just practice holding the plank strength. Otherwise, maybe I'll stay. Inhale, elevate the left leg. Exhale, knee in towards the nose and lightly land the left leg. Dropping your left knee, shin bone down. On your inhale, we lift up, reach and rise. So if you guys are lifting up out of the earth, exhale, elbows with them. Releasing your hands to the low back. Left thumb comes on top this time. Could you guys begin to opening up of this frontal chest Hip bones are rising. So think about all of this counteraction we do every day. This is just that chance to open up. And so much done can be done, not just physically, but therapeutically here, just helping to open up our heart, especially during this time of just acceptance. Good, nice, and so we take that release. Inhale, arms are reached for, or rather, rather, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and stay here. We were here earlier, good. Slowly and gently, let's start to take that revolve. Good, releasing your right hand down, left arm on up towards the sky. Taking your left arm on back, stretching deeper and towards the quad, hand towards outer foot. Taking another breath, draw your outer right shoulder back. Softening your face and your jaw. If you can't grab the outer foot, no problem. Just even practice the hamstring strength. Well done. Release the back of the foot, hand down. Slide in the crease. Down. Flexion through the foot. Inhale, extend the chest. And then exhale. So you're dragging the outer left hip back, releasing the chest down. Returning back to the sensation of the jaw. Is the tip of the tongue still pressing against the roof of the mouth? Focusing on that soothing quality of your breath. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, slide it. We pause point here, stand on the finger pads, chest is long forward. She press the finger pads, maybe lifting up this left heel. We're here for three. Hold it two. Good on one, lower it down. Bend in towards the knee. Lift up the back leg, back foot in, back heel drops. Inhale, extend inner thigh, seems spin. Pause point here, hands towards your hips. So again, pyramid pose, inner thighs wrapping. Feel the chest plate extend, hands to heart center, hold it later. Maybe the arms extended, reach out from the side waist, the front chest plate extending. Good, using the energy of the back body, inhale, arms are gonna lift. Good, left hand to left hip bones, keep your length. Exhale, extend your chest forward. Option one is stay here, Pavrita Trikonasana. Otherwise, we start to wrap in that outer right side of the cage, hand down inside left foot or outside. Outer left hip reaches itself back. You notice here as the chest extends, it might not be a drastic wrap and a twist, and that's okay. We're just bringing out our inside organs and then maybe lifting up your top arm towards the sky. So good, you guys, on your modifications. This is great. Yeah, listening to our body is awesome, Susan. Good job. One more breath. Good, as you're ready, take that release of the hand. Good, facing forward. Inhale, halfway lift. On your exhale, find your way towards your standing split. Again, fingertips, the block, the book. And, but notice if we're dumping that left side uh, hip joint. See if you can press that left heel. Stay active. Recruit muscle through the glute. It's much stronger. And then your hand comes to your chest. Hands come to your chest. 
Good, maybe arms extend, full warrior three, just for a breath. Good, left foot cups comes in. Inhale, Utkatasana, share pose. Sink it a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Oh, fighting your caboose, however we want to get there. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Last little bit here, toes down, chest is going to lift. So it's called boat pose. You can always leave your toes down, maybe the legs extend, draw the chest back, arms will reach. Good option in layer one, we stay two, maybe the arms lift, maybe the legs lift, we're here for three. Holding for two. Good arm one, release the feet down, arms extend nice and slow, lower yourself all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. <sighs> release yourself. Walk your feet back towards the base of the glutes. Good. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and bend the elbows like Paranasaurus Rex. The back of the triceps press down. And from there, the inner shoulder blades will gather closer towards each other, pressing the heel bone center as you lift the pelvis. Do the pubic bone lift, but the navel center is heavy. Do press down the upper back of the arms. Layer one, stay here. Layer two, maybe extend the arms and interlace fingers. Chins more towards the chest, belly soft. Releasing your hands, slowly releasing your upper, middle, and low back on down. Bring your knees in towards your chest center. Find your happy baby's pose. So in your happy babies, the sacrum is heavy. Your feet are flexed. And then slowly release your feet wide to the sides of your mat. Opening up in towards your arms. Just double dip your legs towards the left side. Option layer to stay here to take your outer left foot on top of the outer right knee. Peeling your right ribs, cage, shoulder back. Maybe the chin goes towards the right side shoulder. Good. Keeping your ankle onto your foot, plant your right foot on down, bring it on into your figure four, this hip stretch. Maybe your hand to your shin bone or beneath the thigh. Good. Slowly release your hands, release your right foot, and release your left. I'm really encouraging you to keep the follow through the practice, legs back and wide, and then draw the legs over towards the right. You can let the body a little bit softer. Staying here, take the right foot outside the left. Especially in this time of, you know, I keep saying this time, but it's just what we get to do. We get to have time and I think it's hard. We, it's hard to take care of ourselves in a way that's kind and like giving ourselves permission to, to do less. You know, we're all pretty busy and focused people. This is the only way that our body can help heal itself, restore, make sure our immunity is strong. Press back into the left foot. Let's find our figure four. Interlacing your fingers on shin bone or behind the left thigh. And then just releasing your hands, release your left foot and right foot to the ground. Just find that sense of groundedness. And hugging both your knees in towards your chest. Forearms wrap around the shins, knees up and towards the nose, hold and squeeze. This is good of gratitude for yourself, whether it be a mission accomplished or just a way to say thank you, working body, all the functioning parts, my breath. You choose a lot of things in life, so thank you for choosing yourself this practice. Releasing the back of the skull, head, extend the legs out nice and long, Shavasana rest. Situate yourself to the inner shoulder blades. We'll gather the palms open up, the toes drop wide. Letting everything just dissolve. And let go.
Simply allowing the heaviness of your body to marinate and be absorbed into the earth. Whether it's the form of the body just kind of makes this sense of formlessness here. Just feeling the movement of your toes and your fingertips, perhaps the thumbs brushing across the tips of each finger. Rolling your wrist bones and your ankles. Making a bend of both of your knees, just slowly and gently and dropping over to either side. And just cradling yourself here, being held by the earth. Giving yourself a sweet, gentle surrender. As you use the earth energy to press yourself up, keeping your eyes closed as you do in the process. And then just coming back to that place that we started a few moments ago as we come full circle of the practice, bringing your hands back together in front of your heart. And just doing that brief scan of how your body feels here. Is it still as tight as it was or Maybe there's some parts that loosen up. You now see the energy. It's this energy of our body. What's, it, what's the read meter here? Perhaps more sense of vibrancy, wakefulness, less restlessness. And then bringing your attention here towards the thoughts of the mind. Whatever might be there, if anything at all. Then we culminate and finalize our practice together with this union of our breath. So using it to harmonize not only our breath, but to each other in this virtual community. Just knowing that we're not alone through this and we trust the practice and we trust showing up. So with a breath in, just breathing in. And a deep breath out. Honoring you on this journey with each and every breath and all the twists and turns and winds in between. May we ride this wave humbly, kindly, compassionately together. Namaste.